The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you are watching Dr. Education. Today we are going to talk about summer skin care and which is the best sunscreen for you according to your skin type. See, sun and skin care is very important during summers because this is the time where you can actually have sunburns, uneven skin tone tans as well as you can have dry hairs, scaly hairs, a lot of damage on your skin as well as a lot of damage on your skin as hair obviously. So that's why uh, proper basic knowledge of these facts are very important we have already made a hindi version of this video in the same channel so if you're interested in that you can watch that so let's just start with the basics see the most important thing in summers is not actually sun protection that's the more that's very important but then more than that you need liquids yes you need liquids every two to three hours uh, one glass of water so you need to have at least 8 to 12 glasses of water in the day or any kind of liquid you can have coconut waters you can have uh, juices you can have no sugar free juices but obviously you don't want to get fat right that is the most important basic for your skin care yes if your skin has the hydration proper hydration it can protect itself very well the, because hydrated skin they get less allergies less damage less sun damage as well as less uh, sunburns right less tan as well so that's very important second thing you need to take care is avoid very heavy foods very fried very oily fatty foods heavy foods together right because that will increase your core body temperature increase the sweat increase the heat inside your body and still again add to the heat damage which is happening because of the sun third big thing which you need to take care is your uh, clothes yes clothes are very important during summers you need to wear loose clothes as well as uh, long full sleeves clothes outside you can wear uh, small short sleeves and you can show your skin inside inside but when you are outside in the sun that's where you need to wear loose light full clothes nothing nothing is compared nothing is better than that nothing is better than that in sun protection right so it's very very important to do these things so then there is after this you need sun protection wherever whenever you are going out now sun protection does not need to be worn if sun protection means sun blocks and sunscreen does not need if you are not going out if you stay inside or stay uh, in the house in the whole uh, day right then you don't need sunscreen or sunblock right uh, but when you whenever you are going out you need to make sure that you apply a sunscreen at least 15 minutes before going out so that it acts it takes time to start acting and that is not just enough sunscreen should be uh, at least 30 to 50 SPF broad spectrum so that it covers both UVA and UVB uh, rays of the sun as well as you need extra protection or something else rather than just sunscreen you need an, an umbrella also or you need a wide brimmed hat this is very important if you really want to spend time outside safely and not damage your skin so that is one important thing then if you want to wash your face in the summers you need to use cold water or you can use lukewarm water if you really want to use warm water that's what is the best for your skin now let's talk about sunscreen see uh, sunscreen needs to be according to your skin type if you have uh, a dry skin then that suns that that kind of a skin needs a cream based a sunscreen which has moisturizer in it a cream based uh, sunscreen 
so that you can use any cream based sunscreen there are many uh, companies available neutrogena nivea etc etc that's not an issue you can use any the second type of skin is a oily skin if you have an oily skin the basic is to use a gel based sunscreen which is non comedogenic so gel based meaning they don't have creams and oils inside so you can use that screen uh, cream with uh, additional vitamins so additional ultra, uh, you know uh, aloe vera gel etc that is good so dry skin needs a gel and uh, oily uh, oily skin needs a gel and dry skin needs a cream based sunscreen and if you have a combination skin if you have a uh, sensitive skin then sensitive skin has a different kind of sunscreen which has written on it that it is for sensitive skin over sensitive skins need a special sunscreen for specific sensitive skin there are many companies like neutrogena and even nivea which are making these kind of sunscreens and you can have that thing labeled on it but this sun, the all any of these sunscreen needs to be applied 15 minutes before going out and then have to be reapplied every 2 hours whenever you are continuously outside on in the sun or else you will not have the protection no matter how water resistant or how much waterproof your sunscreen is you need to reapply it every 2 hours very important step here right and whenever you are washing whenever you have a, you go for swimming whenever you have a sweat then again you have to reapply your sunscreen because those things can get can clean away your slate again then there are things which you can do these are vitamins and nutrients and uh, antioxidants which you need to eat you can take a supplement you can eat a lot of fruits vegetables these actually protect your skin and make it more resistant to heat damage or even tanning or sun damage basically because sun is the main factor which makes you age so you need to remember that as well and there is a routine which you need to follow we have already talked about the routine in many other videos skin care videos and the routine is basically very very simple you need a cleanser you need to wash your face and then you need to tone it if you are having a oily skin toning is important if you don't have an oily skin dry skin or very over sensitive skin don't use the toner and then you can use a moisturizer according to your skin type and then at last you need a sunscreen in the morning and night cream in the night right it can be an acne protection cream it can be a moisturizer with some vitamins more uh, vitamin vitamin e a b c whatever you want so that is a good thing right having an additional vitamin source in your cream but then the most important source of vitamin needs to be in your diet so this is the basic about skin care in summers and what kind of sunscreen you need to use make sure to use even sun blocks on your hair because that's also a factor when you're going out in the sun or on the beach right so i hope this video was helpful don't forget to share this video and let me know your views and if you want me to make videos about any other topic i'm dr paramjit you're watching dr education stay connected stay healthy